House Speaker Mike Madigan failed to protect me. That's the accusation from a woman who says she was beaten up years ago by State Representative Bob Rita, a close political ally of Madigan. But Madigan refused to intervene. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely has more. It's mortifying. I'm, I, it's disgusting. I mean, I've lived with this. Liz Hogan says she can never forget what State Representative Bob Rita did to her back in 2002, bursting into her apartment when Rita was first running for state representative. I ran to my, the back bathroom and I tried, he was chasing me from behind. So I tried to lock the door behind myself and that's where he pulled me down on the floor again and some awful things happened and were set. Rita was charged with domestic battery and criminal trespass, but Hogan asked her father, retired state representative Andy McGahn, for help. And she says McGahn went to talk to House Speaker Mike Madigan. So he came back and he almost like with tears in his eyes, he's like, I'm so sorry, but Mike Madigan said he couldn't do anything about it. Madigan should have acknowledged the problem, addressed it. Um, Someone should have talked to Bob Rita about it. Rita faced a jury trial and was found not guilty. Now Rita's running for re-election with Madigan's support, facing challenger Mary Carvlin. We have a man in office whose character is known to insiders and it's never been addressed. He has been kept in place by Madigan because he's a perfect rubber stamp. A spokesman for Madigan said late today the House Speaker has no memory of a meeting between himself and Andy McGahn regarding Bob Rita. And in a statement, Rita said the charges Hogan placed against him were false while calling himself a champion for women's issues. But Rob and Erica, once again, Mike Madigan's sensitivity toward women's issues being questioned here. Okay. Thanks, Derek.